All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. So I just want to show you an open position that I have. I have shares of DJT. I bought 250 shares. You can see it on the bottom right here. And I'm up right now about $325, and it's it'll vary as we make this video. But, you know, I purchased them yesterday at 12.85, and I'm deciding to hold them and kind of see where this position goes instead of just taking the profits. When I look at it, I see where I bought could be the next potential, you know, retest if it pulls back around $13. So we're going to hold this position. We'll see where it goes. Looking at six months, it's down over 65%. And it's sold all the way off from highs of $78 all the way down to about 11.9. So we're going to zoom in in this section now just to give you the ballpark idea of how much this is sold off at this point. Now, this is purely a speculative play. When you look at DJT, it doesn't really have any fundamentals. It doesn't make money as a company. It has completely just been losing money every single earnings. So this is really an election play and trying to trade off of the selling volume that has occurred. And if you look just over the one month, looking over at the volume on this, I'm going to make this bigger just so you can see. The volume has really rose in the last you know couple of days just around these levels. So just around $12, you can see the volume has really spiked. I mean, look at the buyers around this level at $12.25. And this is the reason why I'm holding. You know, I was gonna add more yesterday when it was $12, but I decided not to, and I just held the $250 share price. So the way I look at it is I have $3,200 invested. I'm okay if I lose this money. I could put a stop loss on where I put the cost basis. I want to give it a chance and see if this if this company or stock is really going to build the momentum. Where my price target really is, I'm going to bring this down now so we can see the chart better. I'm really trying to get a massive gain out of this, and I'm okay if I lose a couple hundred dollars on this trade. So we'll keep the stop loss at low, which is 11.9. If you look here, 11.75 is the absolute low. If we can get above this red EMA, which is the 9 EMA, which is where it's hitting resistance right now at 14.5, if we can get above that and then start making our move to the next 20 EMA, which is 16.7, we might be able to see a nice curl on this stock. So it's sold off so much in the last just one month. I mean, it was almost $24, $25, all the way down to $12. I'm hoping we get a nice dead cap bounce here. And we're going to continue holding this. We'll see where it goes. And we'll just keep the stop loss below 11.9 for now. But I just wanted to bring up this position that I'm holding. I want to see profit target really where I'm trying to get, which I know it's going to sound absolutely ridiculous. But this is why I did a, a small amount of shares compared to what I normally day trade with. Because I think it's realistic to get $25 out of this. And that's what I'm aiming for. So if I can get $25 from my cost basis of almost close to $13, around 12.85, I mean, if you just do the math on that 10 points, I mean, that's like a $3,000 gain right there. So like that, that's what we're looking for right there. Let's just do the math for us. We got 250 shares. Let's say we got 13 points. That'd be $3,000, 3,200. So we're looking for this move back up to the 25 region. And this might not happen, you know, this might not play out that way, but I want to give it a chance just because of the circumstances. You got the 25 range here. If we can get to that level, we'll reassess there and take it as it goes. I think if we can get to $25, that'd be excellent. And then the next target would be around $33. I know it sounds so ridiculous just even speaking like that, but I feel like this stock got pumped a couple of years ago where it had this massive run. It really went up, it was DWAC at the time, really went up to 175. I'm not sure why when it switched to DJT, it went only to, uh, it shows only 78 at this level. So this is one of those stocks I got to give a chance. I just got to see, can we get another pump? I finally have shares at the low and I consider it dead money. This is money that I've made gains on the year. And for those of you that are new to the channel, just tuning in, I'm just going to show you year to date what I'm up so you can get an idea that, you know, if I lose $3,000, I really am okay with it. Year to date gains, day trading, I'm up $50,000.
So for me to risk $3,000, it's not a big deal. And if you look at like my main trades that I've done, NVIDIA is the big one. NVIDIA I'm up almost 25,000 on. You can see right here, I type in the symbol NVIDIA year to date, 25,000. Then you look at stocks like Tesla, I'm up 9,700 on. So just looking overall, I mean, I usually trade a specific amount of, of uh, stocks on certain things. And I like NVIDIA the most, as you can see, just going through what I have made. This is the Fidelity Active Trader Pro. You have Chipotle, 4,400 made on. So that's really where I'm at. That's what I'm trying to do. That's what I'm trying to accomplish. I'm just post posting this video out there so you can see my open position and obviously not financial advice. So obviously, you know, do your own research before you buy stocks. Don't buy it just because some YouTuber is telling you he has shares and he's up a couple hundred dollars. Um, but overall, this is what I'm looking at. And I just wanted to bring this up. If you're investing in this, let me know. I want to know what share price you have, what's your play. And, you know, this is I'm trying to play the momentum here. I'm not trying to hold this stock forever, but I'm hoping we get a nice pump. And I want to get up to like hopefully at least twenty five dollars. That would be my first profit target. I feel like I'm in a decent position where I can sit and just let it play out and just see what happens between the bulls and the bears. 